hello friends in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to insert multiple images in columns so the columns these columns will be with images and this column will be with names so the first column will be with photos and the second column will be with images I mean image names so let me name them I am going to name it as a photo and name just uh, resizing it for a perfect position so just the position date so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the images that I'm going to use so these photos these are the students photos I'm going to use so for example each and every photo has name so I'm going to use these photos with names so with what will happen is the photo will be on the left side and the image name the photo name will be on the right side for example uh, you can see all these images will be inserted into the column I mean these columns and you can see the name here right so these names will be on the name column let me run the code now so the code I have written is already there I'm going just going to run it so I'm what happens is once I am running the code it will ask for the file dialog with images so I am just choosing the images the images chosen will be automatically inserted into the first column and the name of the file will be taken from the image and those things will be assigned to the another column near it and the good thing is that these can be filtered so the text name the name and photos can be can go along with it it means that Amelia if I am actually going to sort it so from Z to A so what will happen is Amelia will go to the bottom of the section so you can see it so it means that the data are completely linked the name and data are linked so I am going to show you the William now I am going to A to Z the William will be at the bottom so this is how it works in a very beautiful way let me show you the code actually this is the whole code and the top part is the variable declaration and I am just choosing the current selection I am taking the current selection from the Excel so once I open the dialog box with this part once I open the dialog box with this part what I'm going to do is I'm going to going inside a loop with all selected files and these things are happening in this part so actually you can see it um, it inserts the images and with each image it tries to resize the position and size it all happens there I'm going to use the placement tool that's very important because it will move but it will not resize with the row and column and other all things are the basic things that are required I suggest that you can easily play with the code and try to do all the things you want and this is the part actually the name is extracted the selected part and this is where I am resizing the column and row ok let me delete everything and run the code again to show you
selecting the images, but this time I'm going to, I'm not going to select everything. I'm going to select few images just to, to show you is it is possible to show I mean it is possible to select few images too. So you can see the images are selected now. All the data is here. Thanks for watching the tutorial my friends. Please like, share and comment.